what is going on guys how you guys doing how you guys feeling we back again with another video if you guys are enjoying the content and you're enjoying the crypto knowledge that i'm giving out please subscribe and leave a comment saying i'm subscribed so you can be able to see more content like this in the future with that being said this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor everything that's on this channel is for educational and entertainment purposes only with that being said, today's video is going to be about the top 10 launch pads that I really like. So, to begin with, let me explain what a, what a launch pad is for some people who might not know what that is. A launch pad is basically allowing the public to get in on a project before it's publicly listed on an exchange or a decentralized exchange. So, it basically gives regular people like me and you a chance to get in on a project before it's not made public to the public because you know in the regular financial world it's really hard for regular people like me and you to get in companies like you know Google or Facebook before they go public you gotta have a lot of money in order to participate in you know these uh, for, for, you know fun uh, rounds of investments that happen you gotta have a lot of money you know and I'm talking six figures seven figures you know crazy but with these launch pads we get a chance to participate in these uh, up-and-coming projects and it's really fascinating you know if you look at this uh, tweet by pomp he said a Stanford research assistant once helped Larry Page and Bryn with a software code that turned into Google he bought 160 K shares of Google for 800 bucks and those shares are now worth more than 13 billion <laughs> today which probably makes him the greatest angel investor ever so me and you wouldn't have chances or opportunities like this to make you know crazy investments like this in companies that are now really huge so crypto has made it easier and made it a little fair for people like me and you to get in these companies really early and it's our job to identify which companies will, you know, be the best. Meaning you have to do your own research, you have to do all of that, and then, you know, pick the companies you think will perform. So, one of the launch pads that I really like is Superform. Superform is, uh, I think it's really good. Really, really good. And I like it because it's, uh, one of its co-founder is... Elio Trades. So if you don't know who Elio Trades is, he's a really big influencer in the crypto uh, crypto industry, and he's uh, he's one of the people's be he's one of the people behind this project. So I believe that this would have a lot of gems in it. So if you if you want to decide to start looking into projects that are up and coming, you could totally use Superstarter as uh, one of them. And the price right now for that coin is about. Uh, one dollar so you'd need to hold a certain amount of stupor super starter coins in order to participate into up-and-coming projects whether or not you'll be able to get a guaranteed allocation I'm not sure you're gonna have to look into that on yourself I'm just gonna give you an overview you know on these 10 projects that I really like and then you can go and do your own research and see what you need in order to get some guaranteed allocations or you know get a lottery ticket etc the next one is red kite now with red kite you will need to typically need to hold their token that is pkf and the token right now is priced at around 78 cents you know the time i'm making this video the prices might change in the future and to participate in the launch pad they also support um they also support projects that will be launching on you know ecosystems like Kusama and Polkadot that's really good because Kusama and Polkadot are picking up <laughs> the steam right now if you're not sure what that is you should look into it and most of the projects that are that are going to be initially launched on Polkadot and Kusama are going to are going to are going to give you probably a lot of returns a lot of returns because this is really new it's really really new really really good and the way they pick the people I say, or they would uh, pick you to invest in these projects, is that they would have a they would have a lane-based swap system that helps everyone join based on their tier. 
So typically, how many you'll be picked depending on how many coins you have to be able to participate in in some of these projects. This is another cool launchpad you should look into. And the next one is the Binance Launchpad. You guys probably know Binance by now. They have their own launchpad where they launch various projects, and they've been able to launch up to 49 projects to date with this amount raised. This is crazy. And most, all, I think most or not all, all or, or I think all of the projects, I'm not sure, you have to correct me if I'm wrong, are probably going to be launched on their Binance Smart Chain and nowhere else. So if you're going to be looking into this, just know that most of the projects are going to be on, the, on their Binance Smart Chain and not anywhere else. I might be wrong, you can look into it in more detail, but that's just uh, an overview of this launchpad. And then the next one is Unicrypt. Unicrypt's price is around 580. I'm not sure how much tokens you typically need to have in order to participate in their in their launch pads, but the unique thing about this is that or like the thing that I really like about Unicrypt is that they they use the autonomous option that incentivizes simplicity and fairness. So that'll be interesting because if it's autonomous probably all AI controlled and how they pick people so there's a lot of there's, there's going to be total fairness between who gets picked and who doesn't get picked and there's no bias if you know what I mean and the next one is Doc Stutter Doc Stutter so with Doc Stutter you see they, they have typically illustrated different tiers of of the coins you need to hold in order to get an allocation and depending on how much you hold it will determine how much money you'll be able to invest so if you're you know you have a low amount of you know ducks in your wallet you'll be able to get a small allocation but if you have more you get a bigger allocation if you know what I mean and more allocation mean more, means more money at the end of the day and with ducks that are currently it's on ETH, but it plans to expand on the Polkadot, ex Polkadot system as well. So they're only currently launching projects on the Ethereum network, but I think they also want to move to Polkadot because Polkadot is, uh, is going crazy. It's about to go crazy. And the price of their coin at the moment is around $19.97. So one Dark Starter token right now is around $19.97 you know, the time making this video, it might change in the future, but that's the current price. And your contributions are gonna be made with the stable coin called USDC. So this is this is also really nice. Really, really nice. And this is uh, some of the projects that they've already launched. So you can typically go and see how these projects have done after launch. So you can get an idea of how much you can make, or how much money you can make in the future uh, with the up and coming projects on their launch bed. And the next platform is paid. Now with paid, you typically need around 2,500 up to 10,000 paid tokens in order to participate in their launchpad. And I think it's a lottery based system. So people randomly get picked. And if you get picked, same way, depending on how much you have, your allocation will basically be determined on how much paid tokens you have so that you can be able to invest in these various projects and over here they have a bunch of projects that have, but that they have launched in the past and you'll be able to see how these projects have done so you can decide whether or not you want to participate in their launch pads or with somebody else and the price of their token at the moment is one dollar and ten cents so that's not it's not the worst it's okay so you know typically one dollar that would be around 2500 for for you know even getting a chance to be in the lottery system for their for their launch uh, for their projects on the launch pad and the next one is polka starter polka starter now polka starter you typically need because they changed it they, you typically now need only 250 poles in order to participate in their launch pad before it used to be a little bit higher but they took it down a little bit and depending on how many poles you have you'll be able to get a uh, depending on the poles you have it will determine how much uh, allocation you'll get and if you have around 30,000 poles you don't have any cooldown for the next project so you can just consistently invest in every project that's up and coming so those are the perks of 
um, you know, getting getting into Pokusarudu. If you have around 30,000, you have no cooldown, you'll probably be able to get in every single project that comes in Pokusarudu. That's really good. But this will be a lot of money. Let me see the price of poles at the moment. The price of poles at the moment is at roughly... Give me one moment. Pose or from different. Yeah, the price of pose is one point eighty one. One dollar eighty one cents. So one times you probably need roughly around sixty thousand to get this, but uh you know, just the entry level is two fifty, so that's not too bad. But that's that's Pokusada for you. And Pokusada is solely launching products on Polka, Polka Dot at the moment. I think they used to do it on different blockchains, but now they're only focusing on Polka Dot, I believe. And that yeah, you should really look into this because Polka Dot is uh is heating up, and Polka Dot is really really good. Polka Dot and Kusama, Polka Dot and Kusama are really really good. And the next one is Thor Starter. Now Thor Starter, I like, I really like Thor Starter because they they have uh, different features and different ways projects can decide how they want to do their token distribution or their initial decks, you know, offering whatever you want to call it. So you know, and a few of them are fixed price crowd sale, dynamic price action, pool share, limited supply, elastic supply, minimum purchase, max purchase, open and get it tiers overflow sell method so they have a lot of options for these companies to you know pick from on how they want to do their initial decks offering this is really 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 good you know and depending on which one the company picks you'll be informed on you know what they've chosen and you'll be told how you can get in on these various companies this is really really nice really really nice and the next one is Dow Maker DAO Maker. So DAO Maker, you would typically, I'm not sure how many tokens you need to get in, but the current price of DAO Maker right now is about $2.35. And some of these launch pads have different uh, rules and restrictions for people in different countries. So you want to make sure that the launch pad, you could participate in launch pads that are, you know, that are acceptable in your country because some countries are restricted you know restrict you know some countries res get restricted because you know what do you call this their citizens can't really participate in some of these uh investments for some reasons i don't really know why but it's kind of messed up i don't think people from canada can participate in down maker or usa but uh, uh, you people you might correct me if i'm wrong but uh you want to look into if you can participate or not in some of these launch pads because there's a lot of rules and you know restrictions in different countries and it's different and it's changing it's constantly changing every day so we hope that in the future everybody can participate in this and this is really really cool and here's some of the products that they've already launched in the past you can definitely look at them to see how they've done after launch and see how many X's people have made so open ocean has <laughs> made a 22 x after they got launched, Formation 5 has done a 14x after launch, Parafines has done a 5x after launch, Delta Theta has done a 6x after launch. So you can see <laughs> there, there's a really, really good return on your investment if you get in companies really early. And you should always <laughs> do your research and pick the best companies or the companies that will succeed because usually. 80%, 90% of startups that start usually fail. That's just how it is. 80%, 90% of startups usually fail. So you always, always want to do your research and pick the winners. You got to do your own research and pick the winners. Don't pick a company just because it's going to get launched. I'm going to make money. No, just make sure you do your research. Dig deep, dig deep in the team, etc. Do everything you can. To, to make sure you pick the winners because you always want to pick the winners that'll give you the most return on your money always always wow dino x did a 44x you see this is crazy this is insane i mean if you just have money sitting in your account i don't know and the last one is trust swap i really like trust swap because 
it's also really straightforward. You need roughly around a 4,000 swap score in order to participate in their, you know, in their projects. Or if you don't have 4,000 swap score, you can stick around 2,500 um, swaps for around six months in order to get that score. And then you can participate in the up and coming launch pads. So this is the, this is probably the best because that will give you a guaranteed allocation. It's not no lottery based type shit. You have a 4,000 swap score, you're guaranteed to get an allocation. That's really good because you don't want to be in a lottery and like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get it. Will I get it? You don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be hoping, you know? So I really like these guys because you get a guaranteed allocation if you have a 4,000 swap score and you're good to go, you're set to go. <laughs> really, really great. With that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.